Happy Sunday. Hey, y'all. How are you? Did y'all miss me? Just a little bit. <laughs> right, so I'm back. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the red button, and also hit the link for notifications so you can check me when I do come on here. Right, so if y'all don't know, I usually try to make a nice little cute little cocktail, you know. <laughs> I sense this on the rocks with Jada. But since we're doing it smooth and it's a Sunday, and those of us with jobs have to start a week tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you motherfuckers, but we'll talk about that later. So, yeah. So, the last time I talked to y'all, we were talking about the online dating thing, the Tinder versus, like, the POF. Basically, all these crazy-ass motherfuckers that be me on online dating. And since then, I haven't really been on the online dating thing because these motherfuckers are crazy. So, lately, I veered off into the Instagram world. The wonderful world of BBW Instagram model. <laughs> right. Anyway, so this is a whole new platform program, y'all, like... The level of disgustingness on Instagram, like, you should need your ID. You should have to scan your ID to log in and get an Instagram account. Because I'm thinking, I hope my nephews and my little cousins don't have access to this type of shit. Because the shit is crazy. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the stuff that y'all do think that women like. That we actually hate. Like, we hate it a lot with a deep passion that lies within us. Like, we hate it more than receiving one less chicken wing on a 10-piece. Like, bitch, did you bring me back a 9-piece? <laughs> you didn't check the box before you brunk it? Anyway, fuck all that. So, a lot of this stuff has came to me because I've been on Instagram. So... I have a regular Instagram for my friends and family. <laughs> I also got a thoughtalicious, thoughtastic. <laughs> One of those Instagrams. Anyway, so the amount of scandal, ratchet, dirtiness is like, <laughs> it like surpasses POF. Like, it surpasses any ratchet, tender, can I lick your mm -mm -mm from the side? That's another. So, my question to men is, this wasn't my first one, but since we're talking about it, we're going to put this first. Number one on the list, things that dudes like or they think we like that we actually hate. Like, I hate it with, like, a deep passion within. Anyway, why is it that dudes, we told y'all about sending us pictures, unsolicited pictures, just, hey, how you doing? Next thing you know, a picture of your dick in my inbox. Where the fuck did <laughs> where the fuck did this come from? Bitch, do you believe in step one, step two, and step three? So I don't know. So this used to happen to me before, but since I created the other Instagram and I be posting little sexy pictures like mm -mm, mm -mm, right. They feel like, okay, this is a go. Like this bitch is a go. I see cleavage. Anyway. What's this on my finger? Anyway. <laughs> So, my question to y'all dudes is, what do y'all think the dick, the unsolicited dick picture or just a random picture of you is going to do? Like, do you really think that women, first of all, us women, we're not like men. At least some of us women aren't like men. We don't go off strictly looks on. How dudes, a bitch can have no education, no job, no car. This bitch got an earth mattress. She, everything under the sun. Dudes don't give a fuck. If the bitch got a fat ass, um, they here for it. They here for it. If, my, if I seen a bitch with a fat ass and was like, uh, I wonder, did he? Yes, he did. <laughs> he fucking did. Anyway, so man, we not like y'all, so... We don't just go strictly off of physical appearances. But dudes be sending dick pictures like, you know, be like, that dick looks so good. Mm, mm, mm. I want it, but mm, mm. no. <laughs> if we didn't like you in the first place, you might have like a, a incredibly large dick, but 
We don't give a fuck at the end of the day. Like, at least a real woman don't care. And the killer part is the dudes who be sending this shit have the most average dicks in the world. Stop sending them eight inches. Don't sit. Don't send them fucking eight inches to me. Because that's some regular shit. And I'm thinking because you're you saying fuck it all. Let me just show her my dick and put it all on the table. I'm thinking I'm going to see about 10, 11. T- no. Take that little regular extra medium ass dick. We don't want to see it. It's not going to get you ahead. And who the fuck is y'all coach? <laughs> who is coaching y'all like, nigga, yeah, man, I just sent that bitch my dick. And it worked. It never fucking works. We hate it. We fucking hate it with a passion. Stop sending us your raggedy ass dick. Now, every time I open my Instagram, I got to be like, oh, hey. uh, uh, uh." Because your ratchet ass going to send me a picture of your dick and I don't even know you. Motherfucker get knocked in their head because who is that nigga single? I don't even know him. Bitch. Man. (laughs) I cry unto you. This is my Sunday prayer to you, niggas. Lord, please reach out to these niggas and let them know. We don't want to see your dick. We don't want to see your extra medium dick. And even if it's really big, you just look tacky. You look like a tacky ass. Can I get $40 or use your car so I can make a run and go down the street type of nigga? And we don't like you. We don't. Stop doing it. So, another thing, since we're talking about the inbox, I'm basically finna run down to y'all, like, my new Instagram experience. So, my classy Instagram people, hey, girl, doing good? Oh, I heard you move. Girl, I'm glad you saw, congrats. No. This other Instagram is like, hey, ho, hey, ho. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not like that. But it's so ignorant. So, this is another thing. That men do all the time. And this is outside of Instagram. It just occurs more now that I've been on Instagram. You can tell a nigga anything. You can tell a man. Let me stop saying nigga. But some of y'all is some niggas. You white boys too. Especially you Hispanic boys. <laughs> I'm not even finna get on y'all. Y'all got some of the black dudes scared at the store to walk by. Anyway, I digress. Back to number two. The number two thing that y'all men think that women like that we really fucking hate is saying without me. I'm finna go to, what you doing? At the store, without me. Where you doing? Uh, Just taking a shower. Without me. Yes, internet stranger. Just like I paid these bills without you. (laughs) That's why I'm doing everything else without you. Who the fuck... Where did that come from? It sounds like... That sounds like some shit little Bow Wow do. That... <laughs> yes. It's like some shit the Smurf will do. Exactly. And it's just dumb and thoughtless. And you know how I know it's dumb and thoughtless? Because one of my gay friends I was talking about, I was like, you know what? Did it? He was like, I don't never heard it. That's because I just feel like gay men are more thoughtful than straight men. I don't know if y'all accept it, but bitch, it's the motherfucking truth, bitch. Exactly. And what? My whole thing is that without me. Of course, it's a lame ass, no thought behind it line. It's like, I'm going to get a pap smear. Without me? Yes, bitch. You know what? <laughs> this is really some self-explanatory shit, so I'm not even going to spend that much time on this without me line. But niggas... Please, man, just retire this shit. Let it go. We don't like it. We never liked it. It's no thought behind it. You don't seem clever. It's not sexy. We're never going to say, yeah, come get in the tub with me. No, no, no. This type of shit separates the winners from the losers. Or you might just be a winner in real life, but maybe you just ain't ever watched um, How to Be a Player with Bill Bellamium. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you. But, baby, put a little bit more effort into that because it actually drives us crazy. And you're getting further away from the coochie. So, so you're supposed to be trying to get closer. Mm. Oh, yeah, you can spend a night. Oh. <laughs> no, stop saying that shit because we fucking hate it, yo. Anyway, we also hate that what you doing. Bitch, don't what you doing me to death. 
Motherfuckers be like, what you doing? At 9 o'clock on a Tuesday, pinky fucking... <laughs> I'm doing the same thing that I always do Monday through Friday, pinky. I am fucking at work. What are you doing? Bitch taking a shot. What the fuck? What? You know what? So from now on, I just start. When people say, what you doing? What, why? What's up? Why? 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 What are you doing? Be more creative. Please have something to talk about. Like people who know me know I hate talking on the phone. Like if you can text me some shit, please text it to me. Because if you get on my phone and say, hold on, after I didn't work all day. We didn't work all day. It's like a Monday. It's, it's a Wednesday, and you barely getting through the week. You finally get home, pour you up a little glass, a little shot, and then here come a motherfucker with no job, no interest in facts. Bitch, what happened today with Epstein? Did they find out he was um he was really murdered? He wasn't fuck. If y'all ain't heard about Epstein, I'm gonna make a <laughs> I'm gonna make a side video on politics. Epstein and Trump. First of all, Epstein was killed in that damn cell. Who, you know, those of y'all who actually a little well rounded and actually follow politics. Anyway, Trump had something to do with that. But I digress. Bitch, call my phone with some information, some gossip, some tea, an interesting anecdote. Man, I just had to slump the shit out this nigga at the gas station. Tell me something. <laughs> Don't call my phone. What you doing? Bitch, call this motherfucker back when you get a topic. Write that shit down. Um, consult with your friend. Call your uh, call your raggy ass sister. Hey, bitch, what man? My sister just got a motherfucking ass up. Bitch, call me with something. Even if you don't have anything intelligent to say, cause your dirty ass don't watch the news in the morning. Something. But ladies hate that. What you doing, bitch? I have a life, and I'm praying that you have a life as well. If you're trying to talk to me, <laughs> I can stop calling, talking about what you doing, bitch. Anyway. <clears throat> I digress. <laughs> hey, and for you fellas, you know I'm usually on y'all side. I'm gonna talk about some shit that bitches do that y'all hate too. On the flip side, so don't get it twisted. I'm talking about my Instagram experience and all of the shit these widow me type of niggas be doing and video calling you. That's another. That's some impromptu shit now at this point. <laughs> and what do y'all think, ladies? What pisses you off the most when they say without me? Send you a dick picture that you did not ask for. I didn't ask for this extra medium regular ass dick. Or is it when they fucking video call you out the blue? I just added you 10 minutes ago, sir. What are you video calling me for? What do we have to talk about as a collective? What the fuck is going on and what... I'm sorry, y'all. I just said that video call shit is... I don't even let regular real people call me generally and you're video calling me? I don't even fucking know you. You didn't ask for a permission slip. You didn't get shit in writing, bitch. You ain't got shit notarized. Where's your blood... Where's your blood test? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. That, it's not that serious. But stop fucking video calling people without permission. I Don't FaceTime me without permission. Bitch, you don't know what I'm doing in my real life. And you're inserting yourself in my life without permission. The least you could do is text me like, hey, you got a second to chat. That's what courteous people do. Hey, you got a second to chat, baby? Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> now I got a second to chat. Now let's do this. Outside of that... It's, to me, it's just rude. It's just rude. You're interrupting the person's life. Especially, I don't even fucking know yet. Stop stop fucking video calling people you don't know. As a matter of fact, before you video call somebody on Facebook, Instagram, you should have to answer three questions about them. Like, what do this bitch like to eat when she get mad? What area code she live in? Like, you should have to add, answer some preliminary questions before they let you hit that damn doubt. Don't fucking call me if I don't know you. Exactly. Um, so what was the uh, last thing I want to talk about me and that we had not planning for dates. Me and I know y'all like, hey, I want a carefree girl who can just go out and chill with me. That's a great story. Everybody wants that. But not initially. Not in any woman who is out doing her thing every day 
or even the lazy ass bitches who just at home and don't work and don't do shit with their life, they still want a man that's going to plan something. I want to know that you took the time out to actually plan something because you want to show me a good time. Don't hit me with the, well, we should just go get a drink. We'll get you. No. You figure something out. Bitch, you the fuck, first of all, you've pressed me to go out with you. And you mean to tell me you still want me to do the work? Nah. Well, at least I'm taking you out. Bitch, at least your daddy could take me out. <laughs> no. Men, stop trying to put that work on the woman. If you can't put forth the effort to look into a place that I might like, you don't deserve to go on a date. They let me know that you lazy and you don't want to put forth minimal effort to do a damn thing. And then I'm the type of girl, if a man's like, where you want to go? Da, da, da. I'll give him my zip code. Uh, this is my zip code. Just find something in the area. Let me know. Well, I don't know. Bitch, you fucking... You don't need to be dating. Me and if you don't want to put forth the effort to figure out where this woman want to go or plan something. Bitch, just Google. All you have to do is put things to do near this zip code things to do near me bitch this is some simple shit so if you ladies nine times out of ten if you gotta break down the shit i'm breaking down to a man before a date he too stupid for you he too bitch let it go let it go sis he too stupid for you he's too fucking stupid I have nothing else to say on that because this bitch is too stupid. Let it go. He's very cute. But now, listen to your best friend from St. Louis. If a man don't want to put forth that effort in the beginning, and guess what? Whatever you whatever you take, if this man come over your house with a bottle and some chicken, he going to forever come over your house with a bottle and some chicken. As a matter of fact, the fucking bottle going to turn into beer, bitch. The chicken going to turn into ramen noodle packets. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's going to get lower and lower. You set the bar. So if you set the bar low already, this nigga going to take you as low as possible. Well, if you're a good man, so I'll take that back. You know, right. I'm sorry, man. I love you. I love you. Fuck these. I was like, <laughs> I'm really trying to get these hoes away from you so y'all can be all for me. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't want these doggies. Anyway, so let's talk about some of the stuff that women do, though. That I think we think you, but they actually really hate it. I know y'all hate it. As a matter of fact, I hate it too. I love key hate myself sometimes. But okay, so <laughs> look, okay, so let's start out with number one. And this probably is the cause of men fucking sending, which hold on. So there's no excuse for you to send some shit that I didn't ask for, bitch. I didn't ask for this medium ass dick. I didn't ask for none of this shit. I didn't ask for this voicemail. I didn't ask for this video call. However, semicolon, semicolon, comma. Is that, was that? Yes. <laughs> Did I pass English? Hold on, exactly. So, however, semicolon, comma. I know y'all men hate when women be like, stay out of my inbox. <laughs> Hey, that's me all the way too on the new Instagram. Because I told y'all I'm a little saucy, I'm a little sassy. Exactly. By the way, the men who haven't um went and followed me, my Instagram is Jazz J A S Your Faith F A B E B B W. Jazz Your Faith B B W. Exactly. So subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications, and if y'all just want to see me on the regular on some bullshit, subscribe to my Instagram, Jazz Your Faith B B W. Outside of that. <laughs> I be on her titties pushed up and out like, hello, today was a good day. <laughs> you know how when girls try to get out sexy, be like, hello. Hold on, put on a little lip gloss. Anyway, so I know y'all dudes hate that. Like, bitch, your nipple is almost out. I'm talking about as some girls, hold on. So since I'm on the dark, I call it the dark side of Instagram. Instagram models, hoes, ass, songs, fashion over. <laughs> so since I'm on the bad side of Instagram now, I see all kind of shit. 
these girls will literally so there's this one page where girls run and they pussy like they run and open their legs so all you see is coochie in the camera like so you like oh, was that just a pussy in my face <laughs> right so I ain't ratchet like that however ratchetness is out there ratchetness is out there so my thing is we really can't get me and be like, bitch, you sending me mixed signals. Like, your ass and your titties is on your page, and you liking every comment I put on her. But as soon as I say something to you, you're like, respect me, and baby. Bitch. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, women, I'm not slut shaming you sluts. <laughs> I'm sorry, sluts. I am not trying to slut shame you on today. But, bitch, we can't give our mixed signals. That's why I don't really take anybody serious on my Instagram page. Because I just want ass and titties. If you follow me on my regular Instagram page, then hmm, maybe he think I'm funny. Maybe he just like pretty ass plus size girls. Who knows? Anyway, but that ratchet page, if he be like, damn, bitch, I'm trying to bend you over from the back. I probably will go off on his dirty, dusty, ugly ass. However, I understand you, brother. I understand you, and I don't blame you. You got to get your ass out of my fucking inbox. <laughs> but I understand, like, ladies, we can't keep giving these men mixed signals. Like, we either going to go live for the gram or in your life or when you out with this little ass fashion over outfit, stomach on, ass jiggling. Bitch, some of y'all ass be so fat and jiggling. Even the women be looking. We be like... <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, bitch, where did you get your ass done? Like, I wasn't going to get surgery, but yours looks so great. And so don't get mad when these men come up with them. That's what you portray. That's what the fuck you get, bitch. Like, you have to just count in some of the disrespectful ones because some people just don't have no sense. Like, it is what it is. So anyway, I really want to know y'all thoughts. Like, am I tripping? What's up with this new dark Instagram world? And why didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> Like, this is some really pornographic shit. Exactly. And outside of that, why didn't anybody tell me that if you put a few sexy pictures on, niggas gonna see you, they dig that. Speaking of ass, I don't know any of y'all who uh, follow Black Ink. Right, my best friend cute. Hi, shout out to Kay. Exactly. So, my best friend told me about four, was it four? What's that dude's name? I think it's the chocolate one who rapped. He sent an Instagram model a video of him, but all of his ass was out. So it wasn't no dick picture. It was like, look at this ass. Look at this ass. Look at this ass. <laughs> what? Exactly. It is some crazy, kinky fucking men on there. And the men, you know what? So this is what I learned. I did a little research, ladies. So this may help you. Some men are just turned on at the fact of exposing themselves because I was thinking I would like look at some of these pictures that I get and, and then I block them. So I was like, what's the point of you? They get turned on like they're called voyeurs or some shit. I, it's a specific name like animalistic BCL. It's, some, it's a specific name for people who like other people. To see them naked and like be unaware of it. You know how like the the people be flashing people in the park. It turns them out. Arab men. I don't know what the fuck's up with y'all. Exactly. I used to like y'all. But y'all into that crazy kinky shit. And Indian men. I'm typecasting. Me and y'all getting typecast today. Right. Black men just be thinking they dig so big. That a bitch is going to be like. He ain't she. Like girl he's dig big. No. Fuck you. Fuck your dick. But these Arab and Indian men, they be on that. Like, so I don't know what's going on with y'all. And I don't know what type of world I live in where the white men are the most sane men on Instagram. <laughs> Aside from the fact they will trace your IP number and kill your motherfucking ass bitch. Let's not act like they ain't the craziest. Exactly. Anyway. So tell me what y'all think. What pisses you off the most about these men and women? And I want some, listen, I want some advice. How can you be on Instagram or just out in America, period, showing your ass as a woman 
and don't and then like not get as much triflingness from men. Like and men just do better, like plan out some shit. Okay, so listen, since I talk shit about men all video, and I want y'all to tune back in. <laughs> no. So I want y'all to tell me some shit that be pissing y'all off about women. Y'all can counter my arguments and shit. I might respond. So let's talk about it. What is some shit that women do that really pisses y'all men off? And what can we do to help y'all do better in the dating department? And even just trying to get a woman's attention. Because apparently, this what you doing in without me. Throw that shit away. Throw that old shit away like that spray on lining that y'all used to do with that black shit. Just let it fucking go, bitch. <laughs> anyway... So I'll be back later on this week to talk about a little gossip. And did y'all watch Power? I might do a review. Even though it ain't got good yet, but I still don't think Ghost gonna kill Tommy. Exactly. Anyway, so tell me what y'all think. Ladies, what can men do better? And men, what can us women do better? Anyway, holla back, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all week. <laughs>